so yeah hello everyone welcome to coders daily uh, and uh, we are ready with another hacker rank c programming solution which is known as bitwise operator all right so in general there are uh, three types of bitwise operator which are being used inside this particular solution uh, one is the and operator one is the or operator and one is the or operator all right and uh, what they want us to do in this particular question is right they are giving us two out inputs one is n and another one is k <coughs> right so what we have to do is we need to consider two things n equals to this is the test case which i'm using there would be more test cases obviously but we are just focusing on this for time being <coughs> just to explain you sorry so n equals to 3 and k equals to 3 there are two operators right what they want us to do is they want us to create two basic variables a and b which would which would lie between this n right so it should be uh basically you can uh, choose any two numbers which starts from one but is not more than three right so maybe like you can create one two one three and then two three right so you can't move above three because n is at max you can choose as three right then what you need to do is you need to run bitwise operation on this a and b set right so let's just say if you are using and operator you can just do end of one and two one and three and two and three and the next thing which they want us to do is that whatever is the output of this end operations right for time being end of one or two is zero one and three is one and two and three is two right so we need to choose the maximum which we have got through this series right so in this case the maximum is two so we'll select two all right next coming to the next part or operator right again we'll have one two one three two three if i do or of all this three what would be the output three three and three now here is the twist right they have mentioned that our maximum value can't be greater than or equals to k right so over here over here all the values which we are getting is three right so in this condition if we are getting all the values which are greater than or equals to k then we'll select the output as zero right but it, this won't be a case in zor right because over here what you can you are seeing is you are getting an output as 3 2 and 1 now we can't 3 is the maximum but we can't select because k is equals to 3 and 3 can't be our output so what we'll do is we'll select a next maximum value or next largest value which is 2 as an output right so the key is you need to run a loop basically you need to run two nested loop from that will that will have the maximum value of 3 and then you need to do the operations of uh and or and or on a and b and after that you need to select the maximum value from the output which can't be greater than or equals to k if it is greater than or equals to k we need to select zero all right so i hope the problem statement and the conditions over here are, are clear let's just jump into uh, coding this particular program problem right so what i'll do is i'll define few of the variables over here right so I'll create a maximum and variable which will be by default zero. I'll again define maximum or which would also be by default zero. Again, I'll select one more variable maximum zor which would also be zero just to initialize so that later on we can change the value of maximum. Right now we need to create a set of a and b for that. What I'm doing is first of all, I'm creating a loop for int for int i it should start from one right it can't be greater than or equals to like it should be less than or equals to n and then i plus plus this would be used to generate a's right after that we need to generate a b also now b would be int of j which would start from i plus one because i is already selected over uh, here on the first loop so we'll start with i will again go till n only right 
uh, over here I have missed right it should be J and J plus plus right so if I will just run it I'll just print I comma J for you so that you can understand if you are getting the sets of A and B right uh, what I'll do is I'll write percentage D just printed percentage d comma i comma j all right i'll run this code obviously the output won't be coming like this i'm just trying to tell you what would be the i and j right so this is what we are getting one 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 so if i'll just do one more thing to make it more clearer to you what i'll do is i'll add slash n right so we get a new line every time all right so just just use it in the uh set of two one 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 two two three three and three four this is what we are getting uh, inside our code okay now what we need to do is we have generated a and b what we need to do is we need to perform the operation so int of temp and equals to i and j so if you want to do bitwise operation of end you need to write i and j similarly for temp of or what you need to do is i of j right similarly for temp of zor we are just creating a temporary variable to hold the latest value right i arrow j <coughs> sorry now we need to check if this value of temp is the maximum value and just need to keep a track of the maximum which we are getting so if this value of end is maximum what we'll check if it is greater than max of end and end temp of and is less than k right we need to keep a track of k2 right so maximum of maximum of and would be equals to temp of and right likewise you need to create other conditions also if temp of or is greater than max of or and and temp of or is less than k then maximum of or would be equals to temp of or again again last if condition temp of zor is greater than max of zor and temp of zor is less than k what we'll do is max of zor equals to temp of zor right we are done over here with our problem statement what we'll do is we'll just come out of the loop and finally what we'll do is i'll just write a printf so that we can print all of the maximum values right uh percentage d slash n percentage d slash n because we want to print it in the separate lines right and again percentage d slash n right and then we need to print max of end comma max of or comma max of zor and we are done with our complete code right so let's just run it once right so we are able to run the complete test output over here the test case were different they have given us 5 and 4 over here they were they have given us 3 and 3 that's why the uh, output is different our output is coming as 2 3 3 you can see that all the maximum values which are coming is less than 4 that is what we have put in our condition right and there were no zero conditions also 
I'll just submit my code and see what is coming up. So all the test cases are passing, right? So this was the solution for bitwise operator. Let's uh, see you in the next video.